Uh, we have a, a question about air tags, and so I, I figure we should answer that while we're here. Uh, mm. Listener Carl asks, he says, uh, you were recently talking about putting air tags into your luggage, which I did again on this trip, and I loved it. Uh, when you travel so that you can keep track of where your bags are. However, when we fly, we are always told to put our cell phones into airplane mode so that they don't interfere with the airplane electronics. If there were a bunch of air tags in the luggage in the cargo hold, could they start interfering with the airplane's electronics? So the answer is, I, I mean, I'll, I'll say maybe. I don't want to say definitively no, but... The reason we are told to put our cell phones in airplane mode is to turn off the mobile radio, the cellular radio. But Bluetooth and Wi-Fi are perfectly acceptable on the plane. In fact, it, it, this is worth noting. If you go and turn on airplane mode on your phone, you can then turn Wi-Fi and Bluetooth individually or, or both back on. And your phone will remember that that's what you want for airplane mode. So the next time you turn on airplane mode, your Wi-Fi will remain on. And that might not be what you want the next time you turn on airplane mode. So just bear that in mind. But yeah, it, Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are totally fine on the plane. I use Bluetooth for my headphones, as do many, many people on the plane. And of course, planes themselves have their own Wi-Fi network. So Wi-Fi is, is fine. Um, as far as the... Cell phone, the reasoning behind why we don't use or, or shouldn't use cell phones on planes, it's um, it there's it's twofold. And I as I understand it, the primary reason is not the plane's electronics, but it's the cell network. The cell network is built to do handoffs, assuming that you are on the ground and if you are flying above the towers, you know, mile above the towers, those handoffs don't ha don't like it's a very different set of math and it screws up the network. But also when you are doing those handoffs, you know, sometimes if your phone is at the edge of a signal range and you have it near a speaker, you can hear that chattering, chirping sound. Mm -hmm. If you had a hundred phones doing that, uh, that could cause issues, not just with the plane's electronics, but with the pilot's ability to hear radio chatter in their headsets. So, so yes, there, there are, as I understand it, I'll put an article in here from the Honolulu Civil Beat, which, which actually goes through all of this stuff. But those, those are all factors. So, it, yes, it could interfere. There is a non-zero chance that it could interfere with the plane's electronics. But it's more, but if that were, if that were a greater chance then they would they would be enforcing this with a whole lot more rigor than they do because you know Timmy always leaves his phone turned on on the plane and then he lands and the battery's dead and the battery's dead because he's been hopping cells all flight um and he's been out of range which tends to kill your battery but um but it it's you know it's a non-zero chance but it's more that the FCC has said yeah no no no, no we don't want we don't want to tax the cell network this way. So turn them off folks. You're probably not going to get a signal most of the time anyway, but anyway, we'll put a thing in the thing. And if you know more about this feedback at Mackie